Imagine a life free from worry and regret. A life where each moment is rich with possibility. This isn't a far off dream, it's the reality of living in the now. The present moment is a gateway. It leads to a transformed existence. When we step through, everything changes. The power of now is timeless. It's always available to us. Yet so often we overlook it. We get caught up in thoughts of the past or future. But true life happens only in this moment, right here, right now. It's where all our power lies. Living in the now isn't about ignoring the past or future. It's about fully engaging with life as it unfolds. It's about being present, aware, alive. When we do this, we tap into a wellspring of peace and joy. We become more effective in our actions, more connected in our relationships. The journey to living in the now starts with a simple choice, a decision to be present, to pay attention, to engage fully with life. This choice, made moment by moment, has the power to transform everything. It's a path to a richer, more fulfilling life. And it's available to everyone, starting right now. Eckhart Tolle's philosophy centers on a profound truth. The present moment is all we ever have. It's our only point of contact with life. The now is real. It's where life happens. Tolle teaches that most human suffering comes from resistance to the now. When we accept the present moment, we find peace. We tap into a deeper wisdom and power. It's the feeling of your breath. When we tune into these, we enter the now. We awaken to the aliveness within and around us. Our minds love to time travel. They pull us into the past or push us into the future. We worry about what's to come, but we miss the only moment that's real. The present. The past is gone. The future isn't here yet. We can influence the now. We can shape this moment. We step out of anxiety and regret. We enter a space of possibility and peace. Breaking free isn't easy, but with practice, we can stay present. We can gently bring our attention back to the now. Each time we do this, we strengthen our ability to live in the present. This is the key to true freedom and fulfillment. Mindfulness is the art of living in the now. It's about paying attention, being aware, fully experiencing each moment as it unfolds. When we practice mindfulness, we wake up to our lives. We stop sleepwalking through our days. We start really living. Mindful living starts with simple awareness. Notice your breath. Feel your body. Observe your thoughts without getting caught up in them. These small acts of attention anchor us in the present. They bring us back to the now. They help us break free from the endless chatter of our minds. Engaging fully in activities is another key aspect of mindful living. When you eat, just eat. When you walk, just walk. Give your full attention to whatever you're doing. This doesn't mean you can't think or plan. But it means you're not constantly distracted. You're present with your experience. Mindfulness isn't just for quiet moments. It's for every part of life. You can be mindful while working, playing or talking with friends. It's about bringing quality attention to everything you do. When we live this way, life becomes richer, more vivid. We discover joy and peace in the simplest things. Sarah's journey, a real life transformation. Meet Sarah. A year ago, she was constantly stressed, always rushing, never feeling like she had enough time. Her mind was full of worries about the future, regrets about the past. She felt disconnected from her life, from her loved ones, from herself. Then Sarah discovered the power of living in the now. She started small, just a few minutes of mindfulness each day. Gradually, she extended this practice into her daily life. She learned to catch herself, 
when her mind wandered, to bring her attention back to the present moment. The changes in Sarah's life were profound. She found herself feeling calmer, more centered. Her relationships improved as she learned to really listen, to be fully present with others. Her work became more focused and effective. She stopped multitasking and started giving her full attention to one thing at a time. Most importantly, Sarah discovered a deep sense of peace and joy. She realized that happiness wasn't something to chase in the future. It was available right here, in each moment. By living in the now, Sarah transformed her life. She found the fulfillment she had always been seeking. The universal access to present moment. The beauty of the present moment is its accessibility. It's always here, always available. No matter who you are or where you are, rich or poor, young or old. The now is your constant companion, your ever-present refuge. It's the great equaliser, available to all, at all times. You don't need special skills to access the now. You don't need years of training. All you need is the willingness to pay attention, to be here now. It's simple, yet profound. The gateway to presence is always open. We just need to step through. The present moment holds infinite possibilities. It's where creativity flows, where insights arise, where true connection happens. When we access the now, we tap into a wellspring of potential. We align ourselves with the flow of life. We become co-creators of our experience. Remember, you can't fail at being present. Each moment is a new opportunity. If you get lost in thought, simply come back. No judgment, no criticism. Just a gentle return to the now. This is the practice. This is the path. And it's open to everyone, always. Practical steps to embrace the now. Embracing the now is a practice. It's something we cultivate over time. Here are some practical steps to get started. First, set reminders. Use your phone, sticky notes or anything that works. These reminders can prompt you to pause, to take a breath, to become present. Next, practice mindful breathing. Several times a day, take a few conscious breaths. Feel the air moving in and out. This simple act can anchor you in the present moment. It can break the cycle of habitual thinking. It can bring you back to the now. Another powerful practice is to fully engage your senses. Regularly take a moment to really see, hear, feel, smell and taste. Notice the colours around you, the sounds in your environment, the sensations in your body. This sensory awareness pulls you into the present moment. Lastly, practice acceptance. When you find yourself resisting what is, pause, take a breath. See if you can accept the present moment as it is. This doesn't mean you can't take action to change things, but acceptance of what is now is the foundation for effective action. The ripple effect of present focused living. Living in the now doesn't just transform your inner experience. It ripples out into every aspect of your life. Your relationships deepen. When you're fully present with others, you really listen. You connect more authentically. People feel seen and heard in your presence. Your work improves. Present moment awareness enhances focus and creativity. You become more productive, more innovative. You respond to challenges with greater clarity and effectiveness. Your decision making improves as you act from a place of presence rather than reactivity. Your health can benefit too. Living in the now reduces stress. It can lower blood pressure, improve sleep, boost immune function. When we're present, we're more in tune with our bodies. We make better choices about food, exercise and self-care. Even your environment can change. As you become more present, 
you might find yourself creating more order in your space, appreciating beauty more, making choices that align with your values. The ripple effect of present focused living touches every part of your life. Overcoming challenges in staying present. Staying present isn't always easy. Our minds are habituated to wander, to worry and to plan. When we try to stay present, we often encounter resistance. We might feel restless, bored or anxious. These are normal experiences. They're part of the journey. One common challenge is the belief that we should always feel good. But presence isn't about feeling good all the time. It's about being with whatever is. Sometimes that's pleasant and sometimes it's not. The key is to stay present regardless, to witness our experience without getting caught up in it. Another challenge is the pull of technology. Our devices constantly vie for our attention. They pull us out of the present moment. To overcome this, we can set boundaries. Create tech-free times and spaces. Use technology mindfully rather than reactively. Remember, overcoming these challenges is a process. It takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself. Each time you notice you've drifted from the present, it's an opportunity, a chance to practice coming back. Each return to the now strengthens your ability to stay present. The science behind mindfulness. Science is catching up with what meditators have known for millennia. Living in the now has profound benefits. Research shows that mindfulness changes our brains. It increases grey matter in areas associated with learning, memory and emotional regulation. It decreases activity in the default mode network, the brain region associated with mind-wandering and self-referential thoughts. Studies have found that mindfulness reduces stress, anxiety and depression. It improves focus and cognitive flexibility. It enhances emotional intelligence and relationship satisfaction. Even physical health improves. Mindfulness has been linked to better immune function, lower blood pressure and improved sleep. Neuroscience reveals that our brains are highly plastic. They can change and adapt throughout our lives. When we practice mindfulness, we're literally rewiring our brains. We're creating new neural pathways, strengthening our ability to stay present, to respond rather than react. The science is clear. Living in the now isn't just a philosophical idea. It's a practical tool for enhancing well-being. It's a way to optimize our brains and bodies to live healthier, happier, more fulfilling lives. And it's available to everyone right here, right now. Integrating presence into daily routines. Living in the now isn't just for meditation cushions, it's for everyday life. Infuse presence into your daily routines. Start with your morning routine. As you wake up, take a few conscious breaths. Feel your body. During meals, practice mindful eating. Really taste your food. Notice the textures, the flavors, the sensations. At work, try the mindful minute. At the start of each hour, take a minute to check in with yourself. Even chores can become mindfulness practices. Feel the warmth of the water, the texture of the soap bubbles. Your invitation to a life of presence. Now is your moment. Your invitation to a life of presence. To step out of the endless cycle of past and future. To embrace the richness of now. This isn't about perfection. It's about practice. About coming back again and again. To this moment. Start small. Choose one activity today to do with full presence. Maybe it's drinking your morning coffee taking a walk or having a conversation. Whatever you choose, give it your full attention. Notice what changes when you're fully there. Share your experiences. Talk with friends about living in the now. 
Start a mindfulness group. Write about your journey. Sharing not only reinforces your own practice, it spreads the benefits to others. It creates a ripple effect of presence in the world. Remember, every moment is a new beginning, a fresh opportunity to be present, to live fully, to embrace the power of now. The choice is yours. Will you accept the invitation? Will you step into the fullness of this moment? Your journey to a life of presence starts now, right here, in this very moment. As Tola says, there is no yesterday nor any tomorrow, but only now. Embrace it and watch your life transform. Ready to start your journey to living in the now. Like this video, share it with friends who need a little peace in their lives and subscribe for more life-changing insights. Drop a comment below about your experiences with mindfulness or any questions you have. Let's embrace the power of now together.